This is meteorologist Jim Stefkovich to talk about the severe thunderstorm and tornado outbreak that will occur across Alabama on Wednesday, April 27th. What we are anticipating is an extreme high potential for tornadoes and damaging straight line winds from thunderstorms today across much of Alabama. A high risk of hail and large hail is very common in tornadic thunderstorms and a medium threat of flooding. You can see much of the northern half of Alabama is under a high risk of severe weather today with a moderate risk extending as far south as uh, just north of Mobile and over towards the Auburn Opelika area. Now what does that mean as far as high risk? If you look at these values notice the 45 percent shading for areas like Livingston over to Clanton up to Birmingham, Coleman, and then further west that includes areas like Tuscaloosa, uh, Haleyville, uh, and areas further all the way into eastern Mississippi. What this means is that for any point in this area there is a 45 percent chance of a tornado occurring at any point within a 25 mile radius. That is incredibly high probabilities of a tornado. And then surrounding that there's a 30 percent chance of a tornado at any point in this area within the 25 mile radius. So we are looking at a potential very historic event unfolding in front of us. There is the potential for strong to violent tornadoes, very wide tornadoes, and long track. In other words, tornadoes that can be on the ground for tens of miles if not more. Looking at the particulars, we're looking at supercell thunderstorms moving across central Alabama and then a squall line developing along the a cold front that will be sweeping through the area after dark tonight. So defining the actual time frames, it looks like for areas northwest of a Livingston to Tuscaloosa to Jasper line, 2 to 8 p.m. is going to be the main time frame for severe weather across the central portions of Alabama 4 to 10 p.m. and then after 6 p.m. into the overnight hours we get a little bit further towards the southeast. Again this is a very dangerous situation that's unfolding. We cannot emphasize this enough that we are expecting widespread severe weather. Now don't think that uh, a thunderstorm that capable of producing severe weather may occur outside of these time frames. They could but this is going to be the main time frame for each of these areas of the most significant part of severe weather. So in summary, an outbreak of severe weather this afternoon and tonight with damaging straight line winds, large hail and tornadoes, and flash flooding as well. Strong to violent tornadoes. Violent tornadoes have winds greater than 200 miles an hour are possible with some of these tornadoes very large in width and on the ground for long periods of time. You need to have an action plan in place before the severe weather begins. You need to know what to do no matter where you are and take the appropriate actions to protect yourself. It is recommended that if you live in a mobile home, you need to find a sturdier location until this event ends. Travel should be limited to emergency purposes only. Once the severe weather begins, it will literally explode across the area with numerous thunderstorms developing. Many people may be without electricity for a substantial length of time after the event unfolds. We're expecting thousands of trees to go down, a lot of power lines going down. and That'll mean that power will be out in some areas potentially for a significant amount of time. And finally, check back for the details as we get closer to the event, as the event unfolds, uh, for any updates. And those updates will be found at our website on our front page that will give very specific information as far as timing at any time that occurs. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 205-664-3010.